In 1842, Joseph Smith, the first prophet and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, wrote down 13 of the religion's fundamental beliefs. Number four on the list says this, We believe that the first principles and ordinances of the gospel are, first, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, second, repentance, third, baptism by immersion for the remission of sins, fourth, laying on of hands for the gift of the Holy Ghost. Latter-day Saints believe this article of faith summarizes beautifully the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is what it's all about. This is what Christ taught, and this is what the Church of Jesus Christ teaches. Every six months, the leaders of the church hold a conference. If you listen in, this is pretty much all they teach. Faith in Jesus Christ. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Repentance. Repentance. Baptism. Baptism. And the gift of the Holy Ghost. Plead for the Holy Ghost. These are the roots of our faith and the basics of salvation. We've got to believe that Christ is our Savior. We then have to act on that faith by continually repenting, turning our lives around, rejecting sin, and following in the footsteps of the God who walked before us. We cannot follow in Christ's footsteps without repenting of our sins and striving to be pure even as He is pure. Another set of Christ's footsteps that we must follow is baptism and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, which leads us to article of faith number five. We believe that a man must be called of God by prophecy and by the laying on of hands by those who are in authority to preach the gospel and administer in the ordinances thereof. Latter-day Saints believe we have to be baptized by someone holding the authority to baptize, which we call the priesthood. We believe that authority is conferred only by the laying on of hands from someone who already holds that authority. We believe Christ gave priesthood authority to the apostles, leaving Peter in charge of the church Christ had organized. The Catholic faith believes Peter continued to pass down that authority in an unbroken succession, and that that authority still resides in the Catholic Church today. Latter-day Saints, on the other hand, believe there was a general apostasy or falling away from Christ's teachings after his death and the death of the apostles. We believe that similar to past eras, priesthood authority was lost because of the wickedness of the people and would need to be restored. We believe the resurrected John the Baptist restored that authority to baptize through the laying on of hands to the young prophet Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery on May 15, 1829. We believe the gift of the Holy Ghost is something that can also only be given through the laying on of hands by someone holding priesthood authority. While the Holy Ghost can touch anyone, we believe the gift of the Holy Ghost allows him to be one's constant companion so long as the receiver is worthy. So to wrap things up, we believe the gospel of Jesus Christ can be summarized in faith in Christ, repentance, baptism, the gift of the Holy Ghost, and enduring faithfully until the end of our lives. We also believe authority is essential for baptism and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, also called confirmation. We believe that authority resides within the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Figuring out whether or not you believe it is frankly between you and God, or if you're just interested in hearing more about what we believe, go ahead and follow the link in the description for an article on our website that talks more about this topic, or you can just keep an eye out for our next video about Article of Faith number 6 coming out soon. 